to get started with this exercise, we're going to open up the scatter data label template. And you may have to enable macros as it is a macro enabled worksheet, as we'll talk about. If you go to view macros, you'll see the attach labels to points macro there. We're going to talk about that in a second. So we have scatter data here. Uh, the scatter data will essentially have the supplier number, 1 through 2,000, 2,000 of them, and then an amount field and a volume field or count field. That's for year one. We have the same for year two, and then we have a difference between year one and year two from an amount or value and count or volume perspective. These are highlighted in the two graphs below, but we're going to create our own graph just to kind of start over. So let me take the supplier number or, and, and this amount year and count year one, these two columns, so it's starting at cell B4 and going down uh, to cell C2003, and that's just down here. And what I'll then do is select the insert scatter. And what that does is it, it inserts a scatter graph right on my sheet. Now, I have a, a few different uh, options. I can change the location by hitting Move Chart up here. And let's change that to a chart called Tester. So now we have this. Now, there is an option uh, from a, a data label perspective. If we go up to the uh, Chart Tools section, you have a variety of things. And one is to kind of add data labels. Uh, let's kind of put them above the number. And it says the maximum number displayed is only a thousand. So some labels will be omitted from the chart. Now that is a way to go. However, what I find is that it's difficult, if not impossible, to actually get the supplier number data label. Notice this is a data label of the value, not so much the actual supplier number. So hmm, I'm going to get rid of that by just undoing uh, what I did a second ago. And let's kind of take this a different way now. We're going to go to View, Macros, Attach Label to Points. We're going to run that macro. And we're going to go over to our Scatter Data. And we're going to highlight A2003 upwards to, let me just go up there so you can see it. We're going to go up to A4-2003 and hit the OK button. Now what we, we've done is we had data in there from B4 to C2003. What we've done here is we've added data labels for the uh, data, but in this case we're, we're doing it from A4 to A2003. These are now the supplier numbers. This is a little hard to look at. If we wanted to filter this and, and maybe you know look at things that, that have some magnitude to them, we could say let's look at only items that have a count greater than 5, and an amount greater than, let's say, 100,000. Let's kind of keep it to that level. And then go back to that tester graph. Now notice things haven't changed. Uh, so one of the things that you need to do is either hit your F9 button or this Calculate Now button on the ribbon. And by doing so, we're now uh, uh, taking a look uh, at the data, uh, but in this case it's a filtered version so we're only looking at maybe 900 or so lines in here versus what we had before. Just even take that one more step further and filter to greater than 10 million so we're really getting to just a few items. When we go back to that tester we can hit the calculate now button and now we're only looking at those items that are of the highest uh, magnitude and we can read the data labels very well for every one of them. This is a very simple macro to be able to add data labels. It, there's really no limit to it. If you start adding too many data labels, it will create a, an issue of, of time where you'll end up waiting maybe about a minute for it to uh, put all of the data labels on the scatter chart, but it works and, and that's the key. Um, so one thing that you might be thinking of though is how do I take these macros that are in this spreadsheet here and move them over to another spreadsheet? So let's talk about moving. And let's say we had a blank workbook and we'll, we'll actually save this and we'll call it uh, My Scatter Workbook. And what you would want to do at this point is you want to have my scatter workbook. Let me just uh, arrange all of these so you can see it. 
as well as the scatter data label template open. So you have to have this one open and this one open. The other thing too is I've saved it as an XLSX and, and you, you'll see that's a bit of a problem in a moment but let's, uh, uh, let's kind of work with this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit Alt F11. Alt F11 will bring up my Mac basic sheet and then what I can do is I can take a look at my scatter workbook which is here and then the scatter data label template which is down here. Now all I have to do is I have this module here I just have to drag that up and drop it into my scatter workbook. It actually copies it if you drag and drop it. So you just kind of drag it up to my scatter workbook, drop it, and now it's there. So what I'll do is I will close that and go back and, and actually we can even close the my scatter data label template now. We're, we're kind of done with that one. Uh, but now that I have my information here, I can now save this, but it's going to tell me that it, it really needs to be saved as a, a, a macro enabled workbook. So hit the no button and when you have your option to save it, make sure you, you select the XLSM. OK and now you have a macro enabled workbook. So now that I go to my macros, I have that attach labels to points. And let's just imagine here for a second, you got some data that you wanted to uh, be able to take a look at, such as from this template. What you could do is you would, you know, highlight that data and copy it into this schedule here. And then that data would be able to be scatter graphed and then have the data labels added to it and it'll work perfectly within this particular scatter workbook.